Hey guys, in this video I will um, be upgrading the RAM on my 2011 iMac. Um, I bought two 4GB RAM modules. Um, so in total I'm going to have 12GB of RAM. They also included RAM, um, RAM branded chocolate which is pretty nice, pretty geeky. Um, I got the RAM for about $155 I believe it was at macram.com.au um, which is pretty cheap considering I went to a store near where I live um, and they were going to charge $300 for RAM and that didn't even include the installation anyhow let's get stuck into it so I've got um, my iMac on a soft um, surface on my bed uh, I believe that's as far up as the stand can go though underneath here you will see a bit of a panel with um, three screws <clears throat> this is where the RAM is located. I've got a bit of a screwdriver here, so I'm just going to unscrew it. And don't worry about losing the screws. Um, I believe that they are, um, you know, um, soldered on to the actual bit of plastic. As in, once you unscrew them, they won't actually, you know, fall out or anything like that. So, you know, it's pretty easy to um, get out. See, all the screws are... Um, Oh, sorry, all the screws are still in. It's actually attached. Um, and now let's take a look. So as you might or might not be able to see, we have two RAM modules already in here. They are both um, two gigabyte modules. So I'm going to add two modules underneath. Um, so I'm going to have 12 gigabytes, um, which should be okay. It's a different size, um, obviously, the 2.4 and the 2.2s. However, um, running in, you know, dull channel memory, it should be fine. So I'm just going to um, carefully cut open the packet. I obviously don't want to damage um, the RAM inside. So I'll just pull that off and it should fall right out. Obviously, you have to um, be careful when handling the RAM. Always handle it by the sides, don't touch the top pins. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, it goes in um, this way. Um, as you, I'll just put this to the side for a second. As you can see, there are a couple of tabs here, which are used um, to pull out the RAM. Um, yeah, that's usually used um, to pull out the RAM. So I'm just going to pull the tab out. And I'm just going to try and carefully slot the RAM in as so. And I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on it. It just um, slotted in. I could feel it. You have to push reasonably hard until you actually um, feel it go in. And then you um, just put the ribbon back in as so. The ribbon is used um, for pulling the ram out. And now I'm just going to quickly take my second module out. I'm going to pull out this ribbon. And I should be able to just push it in as so firmly need to make sure it's, you hear it click you wouldn't have heard that I don't think uh, so it looks to be in I will need to um, now screw the bottom part back on and then I will um, turn it on and um, see whether or not the memory is recognized hopefully it is okay so my computer has now turned on um, I'm just going to click on the Apple logo at the top here and go to About This Mac. And as we can see, it um, now has 12 gigabytes of RAM installed. If I was to go and find out more info, let's see here, where is memory? And as you can see, all um, four of the banks are filled. I have um, two 2 gigabyte modules and two 4 gigabyte modules. Um, it's pretty simple to install the RAM, um, you know, I got my RAM from Mac RAM, so if you're in Australia, I would highly recommend ordering it and doing it yourself rather than going to an Apple store or a Next Byte store. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me, and thanks for watching.